Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the radius of convergence and the interval of convergence for this function. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, we, we're going to use the ratio test. So with the ratio test, we always need to compute this uh, this value here. So we need to get a n plus 1, which would be this, uh, divided by a n. So divided by a n is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of a n, which would be this. So now tidy this thing up. So hang on, tidy up. Um, so uh, so now uh, now visualize this as being uh, negative three to the power of n times negative three, and then uh, visualize this as uh, one block multiplying another block, um, uh, and then uh, and then this will cancel out with this block here, and then this uh, x to the power of n will cancel out with this. That will then take you to uh, to to here because because you've got uh, negative three here and then you've got the x here and then this is here and so on uh, and then now now group all the ends together so I'll group all the ends together so that will then give you this fraction here and then you've got this which will be this okay so so now um, now now um, well uh, square root of a over square root of b, that's the same as root a over b, which would be this. But then you can take it out because, well, well here, you, uh, you can visualize this as being absolute here, absolute here, then multiply absolute of this, absolute of this. But the thing is, n is always positive, n is always positive, so, you, so, you, so the, the absolute has no, no effect on something that's always positive. So you can ignore the absolute here. So that, so, so you can ignore the absolute here, and then this bit here, you you uh, you can visualize you can visualize this as as being absolute of the number negative three times the absolute of x. So uh, well anyway, think about it. From here, that would then take you to here. Well, the absolute of the negative of the number negative three is just positive three. So this thing here would then become this. So now, uh, so, so when it comes to the ratio test, we always need to compute this value here. Well, if, if this value here is less than 1, we know it's going to converge. Greater than 1 is going to diverge. Equals to 1 is, um, is inconclusive. So, so for, because we want convergence, we want, we want to make this value here to be less than 1. So we want to make this to be less than 1. Well, the limit, as n tends to infinity, the limit of this, well, the limit of this will be one. The limit of this will be one. So, uh, so well, we want to concentrate on trying to make this to be less than one. Well, this is going to be one. So, so concentrate on making this to be less than one. If, if you can make this to be less than one, then the whole thing here will be less than one. So, in order for convergence, we require this to be less than one. We require this to be less than one. So well, well, when you're here, you can interpret this as as uh, as this. Okay. So so now divide um, divide divide uh, divide everything by three. So that will then give you this. So what you've got so far is what you've got so far is uh, for convergence. Uh, anything in this interval here. So 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 here the the radius of convergence here is a third and is centered at at zero. Uh, but uh, but anything so so strictly greater than negative a third it will converge, and then uh, and then strictly less than less than a third uh, that strictly less than a third that that will converge. But then re remember we we need to consider uh, dead on a third, and we need to consider uh, dead on negative a third because if if you go back to here, if you put a uh, if you put a a third into here. If you put a third into here, or, or negative a third into here, then this whole thing here will be equal to 1. And remember, when it comes to the ratio test, if this thing here is less than 1, it's going to converge. Greater than 1, it's going to diverge. If it equals to 1, it's inconclusive. If you put this and this into here, it's going to equal to 1, which will be inconclusive. So we need to manually check uh, what happens when it's dead on, when it's dead on negative a third, and uh, when it's dead on positive a third which we will do in the next video.